First, I want to go with a, a story. It's not a major story. It's not an international a drama story, but it's a bizarre story. A CBC reporter was reporting when a creepy old dude slowly walked behind him and started to lick his neck. Now, I've never seen that. I've seen assholes before, but I've never seen this behavior. And what's more mind-boggling than the lewd, lascivious act from Mr. Creepo is that they kept rolling the cameras. Well, it's one of those things, Frank, that it was a live hit, so you can't just... It doesn't matter. You stop and arrest the fucking guy. Oh, I, I ask you something, Eric. Yeah. If that was a woman female reporter and a guy was doing that to her neck, would have he been arrested immediately? Absolutely. And this guy should have been arrested. So why the fuck, yep. why the fuck the double standard? It's a good point. I mean, listen, I've seen, you know, women have done... Uh, hits in, in Toronto on city TV and other, other affiliates, and there's been guys in the background that yell, fuck her right in the pussy. That was a big thing for, you know, f about a year or two. It was like a big, like, you yeah, know. They should be arrested, too. Exactly. An asshole who does that should be arrested. But what I'm saying to you, if a woman reporter, a female reporter, was reporting and a man walked up there and started licking on her neck continuously, not just a, a nip, a tuck, or just continue, would he not be arrested immediately? Yes, he would, and rightfully so. And, you know, I could only... Why was this guy not grabbed, yeah. handcuffed, and taken away? Well, I mean, Frank, he should have been. I think a lot of people... Hey, that's sexual that. assault. I mean, what he was doing, uh, to me, it seemed that he was being sexually gratified, and he was a sick fuck. Yeah, and, and you know, listen, they, they put it on the Internet for that fact and to show... Um, you know, that this is not acceptable. Well, was he arrested? I, I, I don't know if he was arrested or not. I, I, I would hope so, because you're right. It was disgusting. It was, and the, the reporter showed great professionalism, you know, finishing his head. I, I'm sorry. I, I disagree, Eric. And, and, you know, I like the CBC. I'm a big fan. But I, I think it showed that they, they were more interested in sensationalism. Well, except, you know what, the host from the, the studio with CBC did put an end to it and say, you know what, we're going to cut this short because of what the guy behind you is doing. We'll get back to you later. So you can only hope that live where this was happening, that guy was arrested. I, I don't know if he was or not. And where was it live, uh, Eric? Where was it from? I could take a look right now. Uh, no, I in Toronto. It was somewhere in Toronto, and they were doing a, 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 like a, a, a local piece. Yeah, the, the guy was wearing a Saskatchewan Rough Riders hoodie, uh, so I thought maybe it was being out and done in the prairies, but I'll take a look right now and see I where... I thought it was in Toronto. I could be wrong. I th and I also thought that he is a, 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 a roving reporter for, for Toronto. But I, I could be wrong. Could it, be, it could have been in, uh, in Western Canada. But whether it was in Western Canada, Toronto, Ottawa, PEI, and, uh, and in Nicolac, New Brunswick, um, that was uh, a sexual assault. Yep. Uh, he was a creepo, and he was being gra he was gratifying himself by doing that. Yeah, it was in Toronto, so it was a local piece. And uh, the guy, you know what, the reporter was actually smiling. He had to smile because he, I guess you know what, you don't want to go off on air and look like. Uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, I, I disagree with uh, you on this one. I disagree with the producers. I think that uh, the reporter should have grabbed him. The police should have got, uh, got got him. Uh, they, or they should have held him until the police came and had him charged. Well, you know what? I'll take a look right now and see if he was arrested. I will, I will find that out. I, I, it's mind-boggling that, that the piece... I had to shut it off, uh, Bill. I couldn't watch it anymore. It just kept going, and this creep... Yep. This, this, it, it, was this, it was a lewd, lascivious, uh, creepy, uh, disgusting act. Yeah, it went on for 40 seconds. Which is an eternity on television, as yep. you know. Yep. Forty seconds is is forever on television. You're right. Listen, I, I listen. I've done live hits. I've done. And I've been put in positions sometimes where stuff's happening in the background, and it's not appropriate. And you want to. Yeah, but that's one happen. thing, Eric. You, you, do, Eric, you like can't that. rationalize this. It, when you're doing a live thing, there's assholes. You got to contend with traffic. There's there's stuff happening, right? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's one thing. But if somebody comes and and attacks your reporter. Uh, physically or sexually, it, it, you know, that's a crime. You don't keep filming just to get 
uh, sensationalism and to titillate your audience, you have the fucker arrested. So I can tell you right now, the CBC reporter's name was Chris Glover. He said after he was interviewed, he felt humiliated uh, that he had to finish this. So you're right. He was very upset that he had to finish this. Uh, my, my advice to Chris is if it ever happens again, stop, turn around, grab the guy, and, and, and get some help and have the police get, arrest man or woman or whatever. I'm taking a look right now to see if he was arrested. Well, I read somewhere that he's charging him. Okay. The, the, the reporter is charging him.